Hi guys, so this is just a quick video. Um, I had a few people uh, requesting on the uh, the FIG3 whether or not it can be plugged into the NASA and whether you can use the pitch control with the NASA. Uh, the answer to the question is yes, which means good news for all you phantom people. Um, the other good news is you don't have to fiddle about with any software from the gimbal manufacturers, no firmware updates, anything like that. This can be done as it comes out of the box, which is very nice. Um, I believe the Taro and uh, the Aris one um, vary on how that happens but certainly Taro you have to fiddle about and give it a different mode setting before you can do this. Um, so yeah so this is going to hopefully be a fairly short video. Um, unfortunately I don't have my head cam because of course camera's sitting on the gimbal. Um, first and foremost you can see I'm actually doing this upside down with the gimbal mounted like this. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this gimbal you can do that with this gimbal you just have to turn the motor upside down. Uh, my other videos show you how to do that. Um, for this purposes it's going to just be helpful so I can see what's going on and show you what's going on. So we have the supplied power cable which is plugged in, four pin there and then the other end of it is just a good old fashioned servo cable and uh, basically what we want to do with this is we are plugging this into the F2 port of the NASA um, the white cable goes to the bottom, black cable to the top um, so we shall just do that now somewhat tricky to see me doing this it's the furthest to the left which makes life a little bit easier Okay, right, that's plugged in. Right, fantastic. Um, so, all we've got left to do with the gimbal is power it on. I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, next thing, as you can probably see from the LED light there, I'm actually already plugged in and on. So, next thing we've got the NASA Assistant. Make sure that's in focus for you. Okay, now this is all loaded up. Moving my transmitter around, you can see there's a bit of movement. Fantastic. Uh, so, first thing we want to do before we power the gimbal on, ideally, not essential, but ideally, is we're going to go to advanced, we're going to go to gimbal. Uh, if it's not already, we want to turn the gimbal switch on, which is done. And then what we want to do is we're going to zero the F2 numbers. Hit enter after each one. Oh, so we're going to zero minimum. Zero the center. Oops, sorry, zero this. And zero that. Okay. Not playing ball with me. It will go eventually. Anyway, zero, 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 there we go, finally. Um, and we hit enter to commit all of that, okay. Um, we also zero this, um, the automatic control. We're gonna play around with these settings, so don't get too caught up on that. Okay, so that's all done. So next thing we wanna do is plug the power in to the gimbal, which is achieved like this, hopefully, without making it fall over. And with one hand, come on. Okay, I'll just let that initialize. Clicks in, and you'll notice straight away we've tilted down slightly. Uh, what I'll do is I'll turn the gimbal sideways on so you can get better idea okay so we're slightly tilted down so what we now want to do um, I'm using a THJ here if you've got a Phantom TX don't worry you'll have the lever that you'll be using for this so what we want to do back to your settings the first thing we want to do is play around with the center setting so let's just give it for the sake of argument a setting of 500 that will go red now before we commit that, I'll pan back up and when I hit enter, you will see the gimbal moves. Okay, so not quite center. So we go back down to the settings and let's put in a figure of say 400. 
Again, I won't commit until you've seen it. And commit, drop down. Pretty good, not bad. Back down again. Let's go for 390. Commit. Didn't really do a huge amount. So back down here, 350. So 350. Three fifty, looking a lot better. Okay, so three fifty. I'm willing to go with that for the moment. Um, depending on your orientation, obviously this is going to change, and you're going to want to fiddle about with it. Um, literally, that is all you have to do. You just need to get your center in the right place, and then the nasa will take over and do the rest for you in regards to the actual lever. Um, so once you're happy with that, so I'm happy that three fifties. All good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tweak the little VR knob. So this would be the equivalent. Turning this. Okay, so that is full lock now. And as you can see, I've pushed that all the way and it's not facing downwards. So what I need to do is I need to go back in to these settings. I'm going to put the maximum up to its fully 1000. Okay, and then I'm going to put the minimum to one, two, three, minus 1,000. As soon as I commit that, you will see that now it's saying that actually I'm allowed to rotate all the way around. And because it's in this orientation, that's where it's going to end. So once again, if I back to the knob, I turn it all the way back round. And slowly but surely, not as quick as the Zen moves from that point of view. We will rotate around and it'll stop about there because it's getting close to the maximum limit there. So I have a play about with that. Um, I'm going to do some more testing with it in a kind of underslung version to see whether or not it will give a full 90 degrees. Um, but yeah, but ultimately, one way or another, you can adjust it and that's just tweaking ever so slightly. So quite fine increments and a nice smooth action. And that's it. If you have any other questions, uh, by all means, comment on my blog, find me on Phantom Pilots, or uh, just comment on my YouTube videos.